Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to go through the classification of differential equations. Differential equations are classified under four categories. Whether it is ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation, we need to know the order of the differential equation, whether it is linear or nonlinear, and if it is homogeneous or non-homogeneous. Let's go through all categories one by one with detailed examples. Classification one is whether it is ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation. So how can we distinguish this two? If there is a partial derivative in the equation, then it is partial differential equation. If there is no partial derivative, then it is ordinary differential equation. So how can we recognize the partial differential equation? The notation for partial differential equation is curvy d, which is del y del x. You can also write it as subnotation y x. If it is second degree, then del squared y over del x squared. And subnotation is y x x versus dy dx. dy dx is the first derivative and our notation is y prime or dy dx. Partial derivative is the curvy d which is del y del x or subnotation y x. So this is our main indicator to find out whether it is ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation. Let's see some examples. So our equation is y prime plus 2xy equals to 0. So this equation is ordinary differential equation because we have no partial derivative here. dy dx minus 5y plus 4 equals to e to the x. This is again ordinary differential equation because we don't have any partial involved here. Okay, del y del x minus xy equals to zero. This is partial differential equation because we have partial derivative here. How about this? y x x minus y x equals to cosine of x. This is partial differential equation because we have partial derivative notation here. So we can distinguish ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation by looking at if there is partial derivative inside or not. And partial derivatives are written with curvy d or subnotation. Let's go to order of the differential equation. The highest degree of the derivative in the equation defines the order of the differential equation. For example, here the highest derivative is degree 1. So this is first degree or first order differential equation. This is again first order partial differential equation, first order ordinary differential equation. This is, we have second order derivative here, so this is second order partial differential equation. Let's write a few more examples. What if we had this, y double prime plus y prime minus 5y equals to e to the x plus 5x. This is second order because the highest derivative we have here is the second degree. So this is second order ordinary differential equation because we don't have any partial derivative here. Let's see another example. The 7y dx to the seventh minus d fifth y over dx fifth plus 
y double prime over 2 equals to cosine of x. This is seventh order differential equation because the highest derivative we have is the seventh degree. One more example. This is third order differential equation because the highest degree we have is 3. So this is third order. And this is third order partial differential equation because we have partial derivative here. Let's go to other classification. Now we need to know whether the differential equation is linear or nonlinear. Let's go ahead and review what violates to be linear. And if we have no violation, then it is linear. So three categories violates to be linear. If y and y prime is in multiplication form. For example, y times y prime. If you see this expression in the equation, then it is nonlinear. Another category is y or y prime took some power. For example, if you see y to the second, y to the fourth, y to the nth, then it cannot be linear because y and y prime cannot take power. Or if you see y prime to the second, y double prime to the fourth, y double prime to the nth. So if you see y or y prime with power, then it is nonlinear. Let's go ahead and see the third category. The third category is y cannot be the argument of trig functions or power of e. For example, it cannot be e to the y or e to the x plus y or e to the xy. So whenever we have y as a power of e, it is nonlinear. Or as the argument of trigonometric function, for example, sine of y, or cosine of x plus y, or tangent of xy. So this is nonlinear. Anything other than this is the linear function. Now let's go ahead and see homogeneous and non-homogeneous functions. Differential equations can be homogeneous in either of two respects. And here are the keys I have prepared. Let's go one by one. The differential equation can be categorized as homogeneous if the original function f of x is substituted by kx, some constant k, and we obtain k to the power n times the original function f of x. Or if it is multivariable function, fxy can be expressed as kx, ky, and we obtain k to the power of n times the original function. Let's see what we really mean by this. And then go back to second type of homogeneity. Say we have the function f of x equals to 5x squared plus 8x. So here our test, first step is to substitute x with kx, some constant k 
x. So all x's will be substituted with kx. And if we expand 5 k squared x squared plus x 8 kx. And here we have to factor out k. So what we obtain is 5 k x squared plus 8x. As we can see, this is not the original function. So this is not homogeneous. Let's see another example. Say we were given f of x equals to 2x squared. Here, again, we're going to substitute x with kx. So 2 times kx squared. And we're going to obtain k squared x squared. And if we factor out k, what we're going to get is 2x squared inside. So this is the same as the original function. And we have some k to the n power. So this is homogeneous. And here, n is the degree of the homogeneity. So this is, we call it n degree, n degree homogeneous. Here in the specific example, it is second degree homogeneous. Let's see another example. Say we were given fxy, the multivariable function, is 2x squared plus xy squared. This time we are going to substitute kx, ky with x and y. So 2kx squared plus kx times ky squared. And if we expand this, we are going to get kx squared, k squared x squared plus kx times k squared y squared. And if we factor out k, so the lowest term k is k to the first, so we can factor out that. So 2k x squared plus x k y squared is left. And as we can see, this is not the same as the original function, so this is not homogeneous. Let's see another example. Say we were given x squared plus y squared over xy. Again, our first step is to substitute x with kx, y with ky. And then we get here k squared x squared plus k squared y squared here all over kx times ky. And if we factor out k squared on top, we get x squared plus y squared. And then on the bottom, we multiply k times k and leave xy inside. If we simplify k squared here, we obtain k to the 0th power times x squared plus y squared over xy. Here, we obtained our original function and we obtained k to the sum power of n. Here our degree is 0, so this is 0th degree homogeneous. And yes, it passes to be homogeneous. So let's go back to keys. In the first type of homogeneity, we substitute x with kx and we obtain the original function times some k to the n power. If it is multivariable function, then we substitute x with kx and y with ky, and we obtain k to the power n times the original function. And this is our basic test to be homogeneous or not. And our key is dy dx can be expressed as the function of y over x. And why do we need that? If the function is non-separable, then we do V substitution and turn it into separable equation. And here, our V 
is y over x, which is also y equals to v times x. And if we differentiate this function, we obtain this. And the derivative of y is dy dx. Here we are going to apply the product rule. The derivative of x times v plus derivative of v times x. Let's do one example here. Our function is, let's use the last example, x squared plus y squared over xy. Now our second step is to divide each term by the x squared because x squared is here the highest term of x. So our term x squared, y squared and xy, each of them will be divided by x squared separately because our aim is to get y over x form. And here x squared divided by x squared is 1. This is going to be y over x the quantity squared and here it will be y over x. Since we have y over x form, we can substitute v. I'm going to do v substitution and leave the question here because this video is focusing on classification. In my other video, you can see how we solve homogeneous equations. So here it will be 1 plus v squared over v. Okay, now let's a little bit talk about the second type of homogeneity. In this type of homogeneity, our function x dx plus y dy equals to zero. If it is multivariable function, then mxy dx plus nxy dy equals to zero. Here, what is important is both function m and function n has to be homogeneous and they each have to be the same degree. First degree, first degree. Second degree, second degree. In this case, we can solve the differential equation using either of them. Either you can pick up m function and integrate to solve the differential equation or you can pick up n function. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.